Boobity boobity boobity. What is that? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I'm Chris Williams, and this is the Overblood Community Video Thingy, a weekly show where I spotlight some of the things that's been going on with Game Informer and the community. But before we get to that, let's go over the topic of the week. Do you like movies? Because I like movies. I love movies. See, one of my favorite movies is Mad Max. Why do I like it so much? Well, you take this guy, before all the Jew stuff, don't worry, you mix it with this, and then you sprinkle it with a little bit of that. And what's not to like? Why am I talking about movies? Well, recently, Avalanche, the studio behind the new Mad Max game, released a gameplay trailer and it finally convinced all the naysayers that this Mad Max game is going to be, dare I say, amazing. And with the recent movie franchise turned game looking like it's going to deliver, it has me wondering if the community, you guys, have ever wanted to see one of your favorite movies or film franchises as a video game. If so, which one, and for bonus points, what kind of genre would it be? Personally for me, now that Mad Max is coming out September 1st, I can start hoping for Mighty Ducks and Sister Act to finally get the respect in the gaming world those two classics truly deserve. And very quickly, let's go over last week's topic, where I asked you guys about your favorite video game trailers. I got a lot of really great responses, and here are just a couple, along with the randomly chosen over buddy that gets to go to the finals, where he or she may be randomly chosen to win a $20 gaming gift card at the end of the month. Jacoby Brannigan said the trailer he will always remember from his childhood is the original Smash Bros. trailer. I actually had forgotten about that trailer. I mean... I immediately called my buddy up after you said it. I was like, hey, dude, do you remember that trailer, the Smash Bros. trailer where they like beat each other up and they're in mascot outfits? He went, oh, yeah, of course I remember that trailer. And just two grown men just dorked out over an old Nintendo 64 trailer. Thank you very much, Jacoby Brannigan. Now, Dustin Dent said The Wizard? Like the Fred, the Fred Savage movie? I mean... I mean, I guess it counts. They did reveal Mario 3, right? So, you know what? It counts. Thank you, Dustin. And finally, the winner of this week, who I promised was randomly chosen, and, you know, before I read what you said, I just want to say thank you for the kind words. I'm terribly sorry that I missed your comment from last week. I usually respond to everything, so sorry about that. Uh, once again, thank you for letting me know you're enjoying what I'm doing. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, on to naming this week's mystery person, by the way. You will be entered into the final drawing at the end of the month where you could win a $20 gaming gift card. Super cool, right? The person who won, who got randomly chosen, his name is Justin Griffinthor. Griffinthor. Congratulations, Justin Griffinthor. Well, I don't know, man. You said the trailer that you'll always remember was uh, the opening cinematic of Anamusha 3. You said uh, fighting through the giant bug tank thing was badass as hell. I, I, gotta, I gotta admit here, a samurai fighting a giant bug sounds pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to check this thing out. It's now time for the never-ending weekly shout-out for another Game Informer community side group. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever played the game Life is Strange? Did you enjoy it? Have you ever wished that there was a place on the internet where you could just go and talk about it nonstop? Have you ever hoped that maybe there was a place on said internet where just Tumblr fan art was posted every day about Life is Strange? If you actually said yes to that, then I have an amazing Facebook group for you. It's Overblood is Strange. And listen, with episode 3 literally right around the corner, what better time to join? One more quick community spotlight goes out to the newly created online Overblood shirt store thingy. Uh, five affordable shirts all designed around classic replay moments. Look at these amazing designs. Whoa! Wow! That's amazing! If you're interested in checking them out, links down below, you know how it goes. And finally, on to the thing that keeps the lights on, Game Informer. Every week I spotlight just some of the things that the GI crew has done during the week that has caught my eye. The two things I want to let you know about is the latest episode of Replay Slash, Super Replay Showdown, and the new rebooted Game Informer podcast. This past Saturday, the GI staff sat down and replayed the original Battlefront. I've never seen this game before, but it looked really cool. I'm finally starting to understand why people are so excited for that Battlefront game coming out in November. 
Also, at the end of this episode, we got the finale to the Super Replay Showdown. I'm a nice person, so I won't spoil what happened, but let's just say the cowboy fell off the skateboard on his first try. Nice riddle, bro. <laughs> Am I the Joker? <laughs> And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the podcast, Matt Helgeson recently left Game Informer, but before he left, he bestowed the responsibility of hosting the podcast onto Tim Turner and Ben Big Poop Hansen. After the first episode, I can say I'm enjoying the new direction. There's a video version, an audio version, listener mailbag, of course. If you're interested in emailing your question to the show, links are down below. A boop -a -boop -a -boop. Is that the new thing I'm going to do every week? Who knows? It's just, it's a journey for all of us. Not just you, me as well. Now, <laughs> it's basically a brand new podcast. So if you maybe weren't a fan of the old podcast and haven't listened in a while, I suggest giving what Ben and Tim are doing uh, some of your time. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, I promise. Go watch it. You'll like it. And then you'll come back and be like, Chris, I liked it. Thank you. Well, this has been the Overblood Community video thingy for the Game Informer community. If you're seeing this, it means you're awesome. Take it easy, Overbuddies.